Hello friends, welcome back. We are having some serious heat waves here in Northern Virginia and we haven't had any real rain for about two months now. The vegetables are struggling to keep up with the heat. I have been watering with a sprinkler. I've also been watering with my hose and in the backyard I have been using all my rainwater that I had available to water everything in and yet that has not been enough. A lot of the plants are a little droopy and they're kind of dying. So right now I want to harvest some of the tomatoes. The tomatoes are doing okay. I haven't seen too many tomato sets for about two weeks, but the ones that were already on the plant are ripening. So let's harvest those today. You can see here some of the tomatoes that were here before are ripening, but there is no new tomatoes. That's because we're above 80 and tomatoes need to be around 80 degrees in order to set new fruits. But some of the ones that were already set, they look so nice and beautiful. So I want to harvest some of these right now. Check out the leaves on this plant. This one has blight, but it's also dying because there is not enough moisture in the soil. All of these sun goals are struggling a little bit. Uh, and check this out, even the sunflowers are looking a little droopy right now. I have this beautiful basket that I got on my Buy Nothing group, and I'm going to be using it as my harvesting. Let's check out how beautiful these tomatoes are. Wow. Check this one out. This one's this one must be that Oaxacan pink or something because the color on it is not red. I just checked my little tag and these are Oaxacan or Oaxacan pink tomatoes. They're so beautiful. The top on this tomato is like yellow. Camera can't pick up the beauty. But these are just so nice. A lot of people have asked me before how I keep the squirrels from eating the tomatoes and my stuff from the garden. Well, this is the reason. I pick all my tomatoes when they slightly turn. If they look a little bit more than green, just a hue of pink, I harvest them. That way, they can sit on my counter, they will fully ripen on the counter, and the squirrels won't eat them. Birds have been a huge issue this year. They have been pecking at all of my fruits. They started with the apples, they did it, and they're now doing it with my tomatoes and my figs. So, I mean, I don't blame them. It's so hot out here, they need to eat something. I was running the sprinkler earlier and the birds rejoiced and all flocked to my yard to be under the sprinkler. They must have thought it was raining. Poor little birds. I feel for them. It's so hot. I have to say, my tomatoes have never looked this bad this early in the season. Look at this. They're all yellow and I know this is blight, but the blight doesn't set in here until the end of August and we're just in the beginning of July right now. So the heat is really stressing out the plants and I'm not sure how much of a harvest of tomatoes I'm going to get this year. I'll get some, but not like other years where I get tons and tons of tomatoes that I have to freeze them or can them and give them away to people. I mean, the tomatoes are beautiful, but just the plants are struggling. So, oh man, I hope the weather breaks up a little bit and we get some rain because I love tomatoes. Check out this beautiful over here. Check out this beautiful tomato right here. I think this is a Cherokee purple. One of my favorite tomatoes. These guys right here are one of my favorite tomatoes this year. Uh, I started growing them two years ago and they have turned into one of my best tasting tomatoes. Very low in acidity and super sweet. Very meaty as well. And here are my sun gold tomatoes. They're doing really well, but they're dying. So hopefully I continue to get a good crop of these. These are so sweet. Check them out. My basket is filling up. This is how many tomatoes I got from that row. And I have a few tomato plants elsewhere that I'm gonna have to harvest off camera because it is getting too hot out here. The camera is saying it's too hot because it's too hot out here. But check out these beautiful banana peppers. My wife asked me to grow banana peppers for her this year and here they are, banana peppers. They are struggling. I'm hoping that once the heat wave goes away, these are gonna start producing more and more peppers. I'm confident we're gonna have more to harvest as the season cools off a little bit and we get into fall. These usually have like a second wind during the fall months. And right over here, I have these beautiful eggplants. They are very tiny, but if I leave them here, they're gonna stunt the plant because it's too hot right now. So I'm gonna harvest them right now. Just take them off the plant. I'm just gonna take these off the plant so that the plant can have a little bit more time to just focus on its staying alive rather than producing fruits. 
I have a few jalapenos that I planted here the other day and they are looking pretty good. I'm going to take off these peppers from here as well so that the plants can survive this heat wave. Oops. This plant right here is very special because it survived the winter months and it's now producing again. Well, it didn't survive on its own. I put it inside the greenhouse and that's how it survived. But check this out. This is a bonus harvest from this jalapeno plant. And over here, there's more jalapenos. I believe this might be a yellow jalapeno because it's different color. This might be a yellow jalapeno. We'll see in a few days if it turns yellow. So check out my beautiful harvest. Oh, I just dropped them. Check out my beautiful harvest. I don't know, maybe four pounds of tomatoes, organic tomatoes. How much are those at the farmer's market right now? Five or six dollars a pound. I've already harvested twice before and I got just about the same amount. So it's quite a bit of tomatoes. I have been able to eat them fresh. I'm just eating them as I go and I cut them into little pieces, a little salt pepper, and I eat them like a salad. There's no salads right now to be had. There's no greens. So I've been eating a lot of fresh tomatoes and hopefully in a few days we'll have some rain. I can't remember the name of the I can't remember the name of the hurricane right now, but the one that just went through Texas is supposed to dump out a little bit of that moisture here in the East Coast, just a little bit I hope. And I hope that breaks up the heat wave. That's my hope and dream right now. Send prayers and send the rain, please. God, send the rain. We need it. Also, I have been having a lot of success with my Facebook Reels. Thank you so much if you are following me on Facebook. Thank you to all the new followers that I have. I've noticed a huge uptake of followers. A lot of you guys are coming from Facebook and I appreciate you guys joining me on here as well. And if you want to see more of my day to day, make sure you check out my Instagram. It is called Garden Forage and I post stories there of what I'm doing during the daytime. So follow me on there as well. Thank you so much and I'll see you on the next one.